So we'll get this going here for the final cannon and final defense on the base here. And there we go, all cannons now upgrading. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Serge here and today. I'm going to be continuing the Farm to Max series here on the Tunnel 13. Right now we have 40 million gold and elixir, and we have three builders to be spending around the base. Since we have all the walls maxed, we have to get all three builders going today. And it won't be too hard since we have 40 million gold on the base. And we're also going to be using the sneaky goblin attack strategy that I've been using for the past few episodes of this farm to max series so if you want to see some more attacks using this army make sure to wait through the entirety of the video also if you go on to enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more tunnel 13 content just like this thank you all for watching let's head on to the video and start off the video here we're going to spend the first three builders on the base here we have a builder in two days so we could actually upgrade something else using the gold we have here on the base but to start off we're going to get the first three builders so we'll head over to the cannons here and we'll get this first one here to level 19 we have four cannons left and they are all 8 million gold because of the hammer jam uh, event here in the event tab which means all buildings on the home village are 50 percent off so usually this would cost uh, 16 million but that's actually 8 million now but the time for the upgrade is still the same at 16 days so we'll get this first cannon going to level 19 there and we'll get the other two cannons going to level 19. Look at the second one here going to level 19. Another 8 million gold upgrade. We'll get that going. We still have 26 million gold here on the base. And we have this final upgrade for this clip here. Another 8 million gold upgrade. So we'll get this going here to level 19. And there we go. We have one more cannon left on the base. We also have a bunch of traps left to upgrade here. I'm guessing the update will be coming out as soon as this hammer jam is over. And during this recording time, it's about 11 days away from the update, I'm guessing. So we'll probably have to only upgrade the other cannon once this cannon finishes in two days. So the only thing I'll have left on the base will be the traps, which isn't that really big of a deal because they only have to go up one level for each. So it's not really that big of a deal if I miss out on those and get them when I get to Tunnel 14. And since we can't really go out and do a raid since we have full elixir and gold, we're going to wait until we have this other cannon finished to level 19 here and we'll upgrade the final one to level 19. And we're back with another builder available to upgrade the final cannon on the base here. We have 18 million gold. So it'll take away about 8 million of the 18 million we have in the storages. So we're going to do a little bit of attacks once we upgrade this final cannon here to level 19 here. It's a 16 day time and an 8 million gold upgrade. So we'll get this going here for the final cannon and final defense on the base here. And there we go, all cannons now upgrading. And we have, uh, the only thing left on the base are the traps and with the hammer jam active now, we can't really do anything on the base. We have to wait out the uh, 13 days basically. Or we have some two cannons finishing in six days. So we'll probably upgrade a couple of traps there, but we'll de see depending on how long they take. But we have 10 million gold on the base now, so how about we head out for a couple of attacks using the Sneaky Goblin attack strategy, and I'll come back once we find our first base. And after a couple of searches, we find this Tunnel 13 with almost a million of gold and elixir. We only really need the gold, so we have it on the top left of the base. And it looks like the storages are inside the core, but they look kind of empty. So we're gonna go from the top left Dropping the wall breakers first to hopefully make their way in and we'll drop about four more hopefully making their way in towards this next compartment and they do which is very good so we'll drop a bunch of goblins going into that uh, gold compartment there getting all of that gold and we have some scatter shots on the outside of the base so we could get those for the achievement i want to get the 100 percent on my profile here so we're going to try to get those out of the way and looks like we're going to go from the bottom actually to get the rest of the gold because it is towards the core of the base here which up a couple more goblins on that clan castle but i don't really think there is any loot inside of the clan castle there so we'll just go from the bottom of the base here dropping the lock launcher with the king in the bottom there we're going to drop the roller champ on the left side and the queen and the warden at the bottom of the base here we have the inferno tower targeting the king there so we're going to freeze that we're also going to use the rest of the goblins going into the core of the base here. We have the clan castle coming out of the log launcher there. And we're going to use the warden's ability going through over to the town hall here. We're going to freeze. Uh, we don't need we need the freeze. It was kind of a waste there. But we have 
the town hall down for the first star. We're getting the rest of the loot inside of the core of the base. We'll get the 50% and we'll head out before any of the troops or heroes get taken down there. But we get about almost a million from that raid there. Let's head on to the next attack. And we found another base here, Tunnel 13, with 600,000 of each, and most of it is inside of the collector, so we should be able to do this quick, easy attack and get all of the gold from these collectors here. We're going to war break in there, and we'll get the gold from there. And where's the rest of it? It's towards inside the base, so we're going to use the war breakers to get into these final two compartments to get the rest of the gold, and then we'll head out for another attack. And all the loot is now gone, so we're going to head out for another attack, getting 600,000 of each in about 30 seconds. Not too bad. And we found another dead Town Hall 13 with all of the collectors on the outside, so we'll get these really quick. Getting 600,000 of each once again very quickly in like 30 seconds. And we still have 130, or we have now 80,000 left, and it is on the top right of the base. So we'll drop the queen and use the ability and take out the rest of the gold there. We're going to lose 18 trophies, but that's not a big deal. We're just trying to fill up our gold storages to prepare for what I think will be Town Hall 14. I'm not too sure at the moment of recording this video, but we're going to head on for another attack and I'll come back to find another base. And we have another dead base here, Town Hall 12 this time, with worth 700,000 of each. So we're going to quickly take out this loot once again. This, uh, I'm in gold league right now and it's pretty good for the loot at the moment. Uh, so we get all of the loot there and we don't need the Dark Elixir at all. I'm not even going to try to go for it and waste those troops. But the rest of the gold is probably in these storages so we'll just head out for another attack here. And we're already at 13 million gold on the base so we only need 5 more million gold to be able to max out our storages. So let's head out for another attack. And we found a base here, Tunnel 13, with 800,000 of gold and elixir. So we're going to drop the goblins on the collectors to start off the raid here. And we're probably going to head in towards the core of the base to get the rest of the loot because we're really in the collectors, but there's really only 200,000 of each. So we have to get into the core of the base. And the gold storages are on the top left. So we're going to drop the main push into the base on the top left. We're going to drop a uh, couple of wall breakers on the corner here to get into this compartment and on the top here we'll drop a couple more wall breakers to make it into that base and we'll, we'll drop the goblins to go over and take out that elixir uh, storage there and then make their way over to that gold storage on the bottom of the base here and once they take that down we're going to drop the rest of the wall breakers at the top with the lock launcher and king queen and the warden going to drop the goblins going into the base now heading straight in towards the town hall here we're going to drop a free spell to keep the king up for longer and we're also going to use the warren's ability going over to the town hall here we're going to use a rage spell and we're also going to freeze the town hall here and we'll take down the town hall immediately getting that first star and we'll get the second star just because to get a little bit more trophies because i want to get back up closer to about titan league and stuff uh, in the next coming weeks here, but we'll get that two star and we'll actually head out for a another attack I'm pretty sure uh, Actually, we'll continue on attacking this base here. I use all the heroes abilities, but I think we should be able to get the three star on this one uh, Actually, the Queen's gonna go down. So we're just gonna end the raid there get another 19 trophies and 800,000 of each and we're up to 14 million gold on the base we only need 4 million gold to be able to get the full gold storage on the base here so let's head on to another attack and one more base town hall 12 with 500,000 of each buying a bunch of loot today and we're getting all of the gold on the base and we're going to skip out on all of the elixir and stuff we have most of it inside of the collectors so we'll take out some of the collectors to be able to get over to the storages here drop one more goblin on that collector down at the bottom there and that drill we're going to wall break in and get the rest of the gold here inside of the storages we have one more storage up at the top right of the base here that we use the queen on we'll get the collector or that storage out of the way and then we'll head on for another attack getting up to 15 million gold here on this tunnel 13 We'll get that last gold storage and we'll head out we're still missing out on uh, about 124,000 that's fine and we found the final attack of the day here 
Tunnel 13 with 600,000 of each. I'm going to uh, surpass the 15 million mark in the storages here. So we'll get the collectors on the left side and towards the top of the base here. here we have a one gold, gold mine at the top there. We have a couple on the right side here. So we'll get these out of the way as well. And we have one towards the bottom as well. So we'll get these out of the way really quick and we'll head out for this final attack here of the day. Uh, we have 90,000 left on the base and we're almost at 16 million on the base here. And we'll end that attack there getting 600,000 of each. And we also lose 26 trophies, but not too bad. We'll train another army for another day here. But I think I will actually switch up the attack strategy because I do want to get up in the leagues all the way back up to hopefully Titan League or even Legend League because I want to keep this loot that I have on the base and if I uh, stay down here I'm going to continue to lose the 40 million elixir and 500,000 dark elixir that I have on the base and depending on what the update will be this might be the final tunnel 13 episode for this series because at the time of recording this video there is still nine days left and we have no information on what the actual update is so by the looks of it, it could be the Tunnel 14 update, but we don't know for sure until we get some information from Supercell. But with all six bullets upgraded, we can't really do anything else on this base here. So it looks like that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video and want to see some more Tunnel 13 content just like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.